I guess I should start talking now. <laughs> okay. Uh, good evening. Oh, goodness. Uh, actually, probably for most of you, it's good morning uh, in the States. I suppose I should say good morning. It's what, 6 a.m. over in California? And it is 9 a.m. Did you guys hear a commercial right now? Can you hear me okay? For those of you who are watching? Or for <laughs> whoever is watching right now? That was really weird. Okay. Um, it is 10 p.m. here in Japan, in Tokyo. And um, I still haven't quite gotten used to saying I'm in Tokyo, that I live in Tokyo. Doesn't quite feel that way. I don't know if you guys can look. Um, just because of the week, and my eyes has been twitching really bad and like... Uh, the first year I was here, um, I got Bell's palsy, which is when like half your face gets paralyzed. And so since then, I've always kind of had this issue uh, when I get tired or just like my muscles aren't really getting the rest they need. Anyhow, um, welcome. This is Peter coming to you from Tokyo, 10 p.m. Uh, it is a Monday night. It has been exactly one week since I arrived here from Hyogo. And that's, it feels like a lifetime ago and it feels like it just happened last night. Um, so yeah, a lot has gone down uh, in seven days. Yeah, so I wanted to share with you guys what's been going on, how it's been, um, share a bit of my thoughts. And two nights ago, Yushi-san from Blacklisted was kind enough to get a signed good morning, SJ. I miss you, buddy. I miss you. <laughs> uh, got a signed copy of Nekomeshi. So I listened to this uh, quite a few times today. I'll need to listen to it a lot more to really, like, get into it. Hey, thanks so much, Mr. Bernard. I appreciate that. Thank you. Um, but I want to give you my initial thoughts on this album. And I was surprised at how much, like, I mean, I, I love this. Really surprised because the first time that I heard it was through my sort of tin can messed up old uh, laptop speakers from, like, like 12 years ago, huh? <laughs> what's up, Jim? Jim Morrison. Are you back in the States or are you still here? Um, oh, you're back in the States, I think. Oh, but I do need to get the drummer uh, via. I need to get his signature, but I'll get that soon. All right, so let's do a quick recap before I get into kind of the nitty gritty. Um, as I said, it's been a week. Um, a week ago today, around this time, a little bit earlier, Gotcha. Uh, a little bit earlier, I actually met uh, Yushi-san here. He was very kind enough to have helped me out the previous week in terms of, what's up, Mike? Um, in terms of getting um, the keys for my new place. And then he came over here a little bit early. I came a little bit later than anticipated. And um, it, was, it was kind of rough coming here because I had a lot of stuff to bring with me, plus Suho, which always makes it a lot harder for me. Um, I prefer bandmate. I don't think it's about who's better, but I prefer bandmate. Um, and it's kind of funny. I was sharing this with SJ, but the very first night, because the only light that worked, because there were no light fixtures on top, I had to buy these and I had brought one from uh, previously. The only one that worked was the bathroom, which was like over there. So we were kind of talking and and drinking um, and I was eating um, with our phone lights. <laughs> uh, but eventually got the lights and after a week I've slowly been getting settled in. Um, slowly been getting settled in, 
can't really get everything that I need or want, but I've got a lot of it, um, which is good. So just got to clean up a bit and then find a place, a place for everything and everything in its place, hopefully soon. Now, after a week, I've been to three shows, which is... Ah! Konbanwa, Nekomeshi-san! Eh? Da, ima dare desu ka? <laughs> dare ima mitere desu ka? <laughs> Yoroshiku onegaishimasu. Uh, Nekomeshi is watching, very cool. Um, they had their album drop on the 22nd, and it was really cool. They, um... It was the three of them, I think. Again, Vaya, the drummer, wasn't uh, able to come out. Ah, Raizo-san! Konbanwa, arigatou gozaimasu! Raizo, the lead singer for Nekomeshi, is watching. So if you guys want to comment and say hi to her, uh, she's really, really cool. I commented on her Twitter, and at some point she said we should get drinks. So we're going to kanpai. Kanpai shimashou, Raizo-san. <laughs> so... Yeah, um, gosh, what was I saying? But yeah, it was going on, guys. So, in a week's time, I've seen three shows, and I guess for travelers, that's pretty normal, you know? Like, if you guys are coming from, like, overseas, yes, <laughs> Um you know, you try to pack in all these shows, and so some people go to like, I don't know, four or five shows, sometimes two shows in a day, um, just to get the most out of being here. And for me, it's really strange now, because even though I was living here in Japan, and I've been here for six years, uh, and I've attended, you know, any number of shows, I think I was close to 40 shows last year, but... The fact that I can get on the train now, go to Shibuya, takes about half an hour to get to Shibuya Line Cube, watch a bandmate show, and then come back home and sleep at my home is really weird still. It's really odd. Um, and then the last two nights, so Saturday night and Sunday night, Saturday night, uh, Hades was performing at Sugamo Shishio. And I don't know if you guys recall, but they performed there last month, almost exactly a month ago, on February 23rd, along with, what was it, Another Dimension, uh, Zygote, and uh, S SRS. Sort of three old school style bands. Morning, morning. But yeah, like I went to their show, but because my dog Suho, let me kind of show you what he's doing right now. <laughs> Look at him, he's so cute, isn't he? <laughs> uh, he's sleeping peacefully now. But, um, you know, when I got back from Shibuya Line Cube, uh, he had caused a little bit of damage to one of the doors here because he was trying to get out. And uh, he's dealing with a lot of separation anxiety. And uh, as he's gotten older, he's a lot more sensitive and... Just, just really ah, delicate. He's really becoming a delicate flower. Kawaii desu ke do. Kawaii desu ke do. Um, ima, eto, bunri fuan ga arimasu ga, chotto taien desu. Yes, it was a busy week. And so, um, I tried coming back earlier from the shows rather than just kind of hanging out, which when I'm on vacation and I'm traveling, I put Sue in a hotel and I can stay out as long as I want, which is nice. I miss that. But um, now that he's with me, <laughs> this is me being the very selfish father. Um, now that he's with me, I have to take care of him, make sure he's okay, and see it through all the way. So I'm trying to figure it out. Um, hi, hi, Tayen des. Sugoku binkan na chotto sekaku ga arimasu. So I'm trying to figure out um, what to do with him when I go to these shows. And then I have work starting next week, um, which is okay because training, hey, what's going on? Uh, training um, for a few days 
uh, will be through... Uh, the whole album, I think, is amazing. I'm going to get to that later. But, um, yeah, I, I was really surprised. Um, but, yeah. Uh, and thankfully, next week, training will be through Zoom, so I can stay here, and, you know, I'll be able to see hope. But then after that, I'll try to figure out... Ugh, I'm getting out little pieces of my, uh, my headphones. I need to get new pads. They're, like, almost all gone. Look at these donuts. Um, so yeah, anyway, uh, but yeah, three shows in what, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, five days, three shows in five days. I'd say that's not too bad, but, uh, because of my dog Suho, uh, I didn't stay and I didn't, I didn't watch the entire show because what Saturday with Hades had, I think seven acts. I only stayed. I only watched uh, a bit of Empress, Hades, and then Monochrome, Cinderella. They're a new band. They're pretty good. Not too bad. I need to listen to more of their stuff. Um, and then I had to leave early, so I didn't get to see uh, Nadeshiko Doru, uh, Nadeshiko Doll. Uh, there are a couple of girls from, I believe, Sapporo. Um, I saw them once last year. Uh, at Osaka Shovel, and I kind of wanted to see them again, but I only saw them carrying their luggage down the stairs. Um, yeah, and then Sunday, last night as well, I only came for Sala's act, which she was the last act, um, but then I saw a little bit of the previous act called Maleficium. Maleficium? Maleficium? I don't know how you would pronounce it in Japanese. But they kind of had sort of this uh, four girls. It was like a metal alt idol act. Um, kind of dressed like medieval jester, black and white, like painted face, different styles. And not bad, not bad. I mean, it's not totally my thing. I don't know if I'm really totally. <laughs> thank you so much. Arigatouzaimasu. KH, thank you for welcoming me. Um, so it's been. Um, yeah, it's been cool. But the thing is, it's like, it's weird because if I were visiting, I would be like, I need to get the most out of my tickets. So I'm going to be there for the very first act and I'm going to stay until the very last one and watch the entire thing. And that's usually what I intend to do. But now that I have the option of taking the train, you know, it took me 40, about 45 minutes to get there and back. So it's like 90 minutes. So... Um, just to make sure my dog is okay, I'm like, oh, I'll just go to the show and watch a couple. Um, oh, hey, what's going, on? <laughs> what's going on, Kevin? No problem. No problem at all. This will be here for you later on. Thanks for stopping by to say hi. Um, but it's still, it, the fact that I can, you know, just get on the train, go to the show for a couple of acts, and then come back, uh, it's weird. And I think I still have to adjust. And... I think one thing I'll say is... Mm -hmm. I think there's sort of a reality check of me being here in Tokyo because there's the excitement of moving, there's the stress of moving, and then I'm finally here. And now that I'm finally here, what does that actually mean to be here? You know, my purpose, my goal, if you guys remember, my goal of coming to Tokyo was so that I could be closer to these bands, to these venues, that I could be there to support them more, to watch them, to help them in any way that I can. Um, and now that I am here, the practical, again, the steps of how do I get there? What do I need to do? Um, and how do I, how do I go, to, go about it? And it's not completely clear to me. Um, with Hades and with Sala, I mean, we go back a year and we've interacted so much over the past year that I can kind of, <laughs> I can kind of fall back on them. You know, it's, um, so I went to Sugamo Shishio. Sugamo is the area. Shishio is the name of the lighthouse. And, you know, so I got a all area pass for last month. This was back in February 23rd. And then one month later, I got another pass. This was for Saturday. 
And then last night for sara. That's the kanji for sara. Um, so yeah, um, it's kind of cool. And it's uh, definitely it's easy access because, again, they're they're grateful for the work that I've done for them. I'm grateful that they've allowed for me to do the work, um, and I'm glad that both parties benefit. Um, it's a cool thing when you're able to do something that you love, for people that you love, and for them to benefit from that and to be thankful for that, um, and. On the other side, I'm just grateful that I can participate in this way. Not everybody gets to kind of go in there, grab out their camera, and just shoot as many photos as they want, um, you know, hang out, help out, do all these things, be there for rehearsals, all that stuff. But I have that opportunity now, so I'm glad. But I'm also afraid, and this is something that I wanted to share with you guys, just my honest perspective, is I'm afraid, um, excuse my language, excuse my language, but I'm afraid of fucking up. I'm, I'm afraid of, of making a mistake. I'm afraid of, um, I'm afraid of doing something or saying something that I shouldn't. Because I think like most humans, I think, I mean, some of us are perfect. Um, but you know, a lot of us and like myself, we, we make mistakes. And so I'm afraid of ruining any relationship. You know, I'm afraid of ruining my relationship with, with Hades um, or with Saisega or Whiskey Dust or any one of those bands. And so, yeah, there's a fear that sets in. It's kind of like, you guys know how like when you're pursuing someone, maybe some of you haven't done that in a while, but when you're pursuing someone, there's the excitement and all that stuff. And then when you're actually with that person and you stay with them for a while, then you kind of start to talk and say things and then things just kind of, you just kind of spit things out. You just kind of do things and you don't mean to. There's miscommunication, misunderstanding, all that kind of stuff. So there is that fear that I have, to be honest. And I'm really hoping um, that, because I don't know, I mean, I've just, I've just, been known to screw up <laughs> and I'm really hoping that I don't do that with uh, any of the relationships that I've built uh, with the people that I have um, in my life so far and since I am here in Tokyo to you know make things good or better if possible then I hope that's something that I actually do and that I can continue to benefit as well as the parties that I kind of offer my my help to so there was that. Another really cool thing. Um, I don't know if I should be sharing this info, so I won't. I'll just share uh, the name. I got a business card from Team Athrash, Athrashi Yamamoto. And I think for any of you guys who are into like the indie rock and metal scene, you guys have seen Team Athrash, uh, their videos. You know, they go to various venues, they record, you know, all these different bands, all these different shows, and they kind of play their set, uh, record it, and just put it up on YouTube. So that's really cool. I mean, they've really done an amazing job over the, I don't know how many years it's been really, um, just in helping to do their part in promoting these smaller bands. And just the fact that he came to me, and it seemed like he knew who I was to some extent. I don't know exactly, we didn't talk that much. But I was just like, oh, it's, do you know me? So that was really awesome. And I was really grateful for that. Uh, Mayo as well gave me a couple of gifts for just things I've helped out with. So um, yeah, on the one hand, I'm incredi incredibly grateful. It's been really nice. And on the other, I'm just, um, uh, <laughs> thank you, Yushi-san. But I think I, I can and I do make mistakes. <laughs> So if I do, in advance, moshiwake arimasen. Um, yeah. Sorry, one second. By the way, uh, for those who wonder about the living expenses in Tokyo, 
it really is a lot more expensive. And this is not a paid promotion, but this was selling for 79 yen, which is great. I'm surprised it's so cheap, but the other rest of the food, it's like, man, it's so expensive. I am not used to that. I am not used to that. So I'm gonna have to be a lot more careful about uh, when I buy and look for more discounts. I'm just thirsty. Um, yeah, and uh, you guys have heard, <laughs> you guys have heard a lot, to be honest. I think a pretty fair number of um, reviews, I think I've done, of, of Hades and Sala, their shows. Um, yeah, but I just really want to say, I mean, Hades really is just, um, just God, such an exciting band. What was really cool was that a couple of guys from the bandmate community, um, their first names, Stephen and John. And then if you guys want to share, you can do that as well. If not, then I'll just leave it at that. But uh, they contacted me and so I helped them reserve tickets and they came to see Hades and they had a good time. Yeah, they had a really good time and I'm glad that they came and it was really cool to see that. Um, you know, as I think most of you know, I am a pretty active part of the uh, bandmate community and um, I'm definitely an active part of the Hades community. And if I can interweave those things together, then hey, you know, I'm, I'm just happy to do that. The fact that I could get Sala to go to Yokohama Marina last year was cool. And to bring fans in and show them what Hades can do on stage. And because it's just, it's different. It's just different, but they kill it every time. And uh, yeah, I just love seeing them at work. I just love seeing them in action. Such a good job. Um, and then seeing, yes, please, please share your excitement if you want to. Um, but man, seeing Sada uh, as a front woman. You know, I saw her at Thundersnake Atsugi. This is with the same, uh, the same day as, as Whiskey Dust. Oh, I'm so glad. That's awesome. But I saw them along with Whiskey Dust, uh, Jekyll Renove, and then uh, Ash Frost. But that show was just unbelievable, unbelievable. And uh, the last two nights, you know, like again, Sada really proves just like. She is absolutely at the cream, uh, cream of the crop, the cream of the crop when it comes to like being a front woman. Um, I think there are technically stronger vocalists, but as a front woman, as a front person, as a performer, as somebody who can engage the audience and really just make that show memorable. I mean, how does I mean she's up there? Like, I think top five, you know. Like Psyche is up there, Regan from Saisega is up there, Mother Yanagi from Toronokurami is up there. But Sara is absolutely right there with all of them. And they're all different in their own styles. You know, whether it's uh, whether it's what you say, it's how you perform, it's just everyone's got their own thing, but they've got their thing and that's really cool. So But as the band Hades when they're performing on Saturday just killed it and I mean, the guys there, they were, there was a lot of running around, a lot of moshing. So it was just a really good time. And then last night too, it was Hara's seventh year anniversary for her as a solo band. And they also, um, so then the other members of Hades came. They were dressed in their casual attire. So Yuri was there, Kuya was there, Mai was there. And they're just kind of hanging out afterwards. Oh man, hey, thank you so much, John. I really appreciate that. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. It will definitely help. Um, I'll put it to good use. Thank you. Um, so yeah, it was cool to have the girls just there and seeing them. I think this is the first time I've seen them. No, it's not the first time I've seen them in casual attire. But it was just different. It was a different vibe. And kind of the sad thing is that when you're a guest uh, visiting like every once in a while, there's that sort of like 
Oh my gosh, it's so good to see you again after all this time. Hisashiburi, hisashiburi, like long time no see. But then with Hades, I see them so much now, that's kind of worn off a bit. So there isn't that same like, oh, Peter, Peter, Peter. It's like, oh, hey. It's like, oh yeah, hey, I guess, uh, you know. <laughs> Selfishly, the insecure me wanting that like, oh my God, Peter, it's so good to see you again since yesterday. <laughs> but yeah, great show. Um, I did see, let's see, who was it? I wrote this down. Oh, so after Hades, there was this band called Monochrome Cinderella. And yeah, they weren't bad. Um, it was, again, nothing like extraordinary or, or like stand out, but it was really, really, really solid performance. Uh, two females, two females, three males. Lead singer, lead guitarist were female. Oh, oh, dude, thanks, John. Thank you so much. Awesome. I appreciate that. Arigatouzaimasu. Always for everything. Um, but yeah, and then the three guys, uh, so rhythm, but also um, helped out with like the, doing the duo solos. Uh, bassist and drummer were guys. Uh, but yeah, it was pretty good. I, I, I do want to check them out more and see what else they have on YouTube or wherever else, but... Uh, see what you think. Monochrome Cinderella. It's a cool name. It just some kind of flows to me. Monochrome Cinderella. Uh, and then, yeah, Nadeshiko Doll. Unfortunately, I couldn't see uh, see them perform, but I do like them. Uh, they're quite charming if you ever see them. Uh, and if you see them on a billing uh, when you come to Japan, check them out. I think they're definitely worth it. So that was them. And then, as I mentioned with Sala, the only other band I saw was a four-piece uh, alt-metal idol band called Maleficium, and not bad. Again, not totally my thing, but not bad. Not bad at all. So the cool thing that happened last night was that I got to actually go to dinner with Sala, her band, and then there were a few fans. And Yushi-san told me that every once in a while this happens, where the band will actually grab a meal with a few of the fans so that was a first for me um doing it in that way i mean i've eaten you know with Hades before we've hung out but the idea of fans hanging out with the band and eating like that was new i've never seen that so i know you know band made fans and pneumophila fans and whatever fans everywhere are just like <laughs> oh my god can't we just eat with them and hang out how awesome would that be so I think that's a really, really special opportunity, really unique, um, or just rare, I guess. Um, but who, what, what band would you want to sit down and eat with? <laughs> yeah, if you guys don't know, uh, if you ever meet Yushi-san, uh, again, Yushi-san from Blacklisted, bring a bag of, of french fries. He... <laughs> He's got a lot of french fry grease in his blood. Um, but yeah, which, which band would you want to sit down and eat with? Like if you could just have a meal and just chat. Cause, uh, you know, for me, I've already done that with Hades and like, again, they're, I think next to bandmate, they are, I think my favorite, I mean, just because I care about them so much cause I spent time with them and talked with them and hung out. So that's something. And they've again, helped me a lot too. So. But yeah, what, what band would you guys want to just sit down and eat with? That'd be really cool. Now, um, next week, there will be another show in Yokohama. This is not at Thundersnake Atsugi, but it does have Whiskey Dust again, Jekyll Renove, uh, Market Shop Store. Market Shop Store. <laughs> Yeah, out of all of those, I mean, hands down, it's, it's bandmate for me. And then and then Sara again. So it's in Yokohama, it's about an hour away, but... Um, and it's the day before my training, but I think I'll be able to do that since, again, the training is just um, via Zoom, and I don't have to really prepare anything in advance, so... I just need internet, which I still don't have. I'm using my old internet right now. One of those little carry things. And um, yeah, there's a lot of shows lined up, but I need to again figure out, bro, 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 like pick pick one or two. 
<laughs> don't list every single band that you know. <laughs> um, yeah. S yeah. Um, okay. Now, let me get into this. Um, so, this Nikomeshi 222, the album is called Whistling Arrow. And I had wanted this. I heard it uh, last month during uh, the Foxhole. They played the entire thing via stream uh, online. But when I heard it then, I think I was just busy taking care of stuff. So there was that. And then I also was playing it through my really cheap ass speakers on my 12 year old, I don't know if they're cheap, they're, they weren't cheap, but my 12 year old um, MacBook from like way back. So it's really tinny, very thin, very flat. And even then though, like I liked it. Uh, their first single, Vortex of Emotions, I thought it was a good song, but I wasn't like, wow, like completely head over heels. Um, but I remember Ryan really, Ryan Muir, our friend, a uh, friend of MNN, MNN, really enjoyed it. Uh, I thought it was a good song, but when I heard the full album, I was like, wow, this is a lot more than I anticipated. A lot more, what can I say? The first time a month ago, it was like, there was just a variety, um, of just melody that uh, that I just didn't expect. I thought it would be a lot more just sort of death voice, just sort of, you know, the growling going on. Um, and I'm a very nostalgic guy. And whenever I hear anything it sort of harkens back to sort of my old days, like in the eighties, whatever music there was, because I was listening to pretty much everything at that time. But when it reminds me of that period, it just it just pulls at my heartstrings. And so, I mean, I'm hearing these like these riffs and I'm just like, oh God, this is like Metallica. This is like thrash. This is, I don't know, like anthrax. It just, you know, whatever. Like it just, it just brought me back. And I was like, this is really good stuff. And I finally got to just sit down, put on my headphones and then just listen to the CD. And the difference, you know, when you can really feel just the texture, the layers, the, the bass, you know, the mid. Oh, okay, great. Thank you so much for, for joining us, John. Um, you know, the mids, the highs, like when you get a pretty, just a decent EQ, you know, set pair of headphones and listen to an album. It's just, it's a different experience. And man, this is, I think this is an awesome, awesome album. Um, I really, really love it. And to be honest, I wasn't expecting to. I thought it'd be an okay album. I thought it'd be okay. I thought it'd be decent, but I didn't expect to be, to enjoy it this much. But I really, really do. Um, and the first thing that I can say about this album is like, it's like tasty, tasty, like scrumptious, scrumdiddlyumptious, like just licks and riffs, like so good. I mean, and it's a throwback. Like it does harken back to thrash. Uh, it harkens back to just like that, that garage metal. Um, it's definitely, it doesn't sound overproduced at all. It's stripped down. But like everything that needs to be there is there. Um, God, it's so good. And mm, yeah, I mean, I'm not going to go into every single song. But uh, they open up with a song called Morgen, Morgen Rot. If, it's, if that's German, Morgen Rot, which is like Guten Morgen, Mor Morgen Morning Rot. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what the rot is. One of you guys, one of you German guys, if it is German. Um, but yeah, for me, I really, really liked Anger, which is track three on their album. Well, let me list, let me list the, the tracks first. Um, I don't know if you can actually see it. Yeah, I'll just list it off. So there's Morgan Rot, there's Vortex of Emotions, Anger, Light and the Abyss, 
past, present, future. Thistle, in a blackened room. Price of greed, here and there, labyrinth and dicey. And mm. Oh, so you listen to the whole thing, okay. For me, like I always love the ballads and stuff. I always love the slower songs. Um, so that clean sort of picking with Price of Greed, which is track eight, when they start playing that, I'm like, okay, what is this? It's different. But, oh, it's great. Like, um, I think, hold on a second. It was uh, Zakuro. Zakuro is the, is the guitarist and he's the main composer. Yeah, Zakuro. He's... Zakuro-san, really beautiful. It's so good. The song is... Oh my God. It's so good. Um, so he's the one who composed all the songs, but... Damn, like, uh, he's got a really good sense of just like, what's delicious um, just to play. Really good stuff. Um, drums and... Okay, yeah, definitely, I would recommend. I. If you're not into like heavy stuff, then I can't like say, oh, go out and get this album. But if you're even like somewhat into like heavy stuff, if you don't mind the growls and the screams and, you know, sort of the, sort of, you know, the, the death voice and stuff and... But what I was more surprised by or mo most surprised by was just the... I was surprised by how great the melodies are in this, and especially with the way that Raizo, the lead singer, how she performs it, how she executes the singing. Oh, uh, 本当にライゾさん, sticky this. えっとライゾさんのえっと歌声やばいかっこいいかっこいいちょっと昔の感じかなんか how do you say? ゲン、ゲン、ゲンザイ、ゲンザイ。いや、もうちょっと昔の感じけど、すごく、ハリセイ。歴史的なんか大きい昔。I <笑> And the melodies themselves, I would say they're it's it's definitely like Japan influenced. It's like more more Japanese melodies. Hey Ken, good morning. Japanese melodies. But the again the way that she sings it performs is so good. And the songs, like I think the three songs that really highlight that for me personally when I was listening was uh Price of Greed, Here and There, and Labyrinth. Those three, back to back to back, if you listen to those songs, because there's more singing on it. And yeah, man, it's good. Like, I kid you not, I was listening to today, and I, I started to get really emotional. And I, I didn't totally cry, but... Oh, so it's a very melody. So, yeah, Price of Greed, that's track eight, going into nine, here and there, and then even Labyrinth. Those are really great songs, I think, melodically. And, uh, <laughs> so, yeah, um, I really would encourage you guys. Um, I know, you know, they're... they're kind of a new band, it's a new album. You probably haven't heard too much uh, of them. But I don't know, I would say this, if you like old school thrash, if you're like into Metallica, Megadeth, like any of those guys, I would I would really recommend that you guys check them out um, by their album. And if you don't wanna make that jump, then at least listen to the streaming. Um, Cause again, like just the riffs are so good. Um, the breakdowns with the drums and with the bass are so good. Like, and again, Raizo, 
it's um she gets like that very like high like <laughs> kind of like but when it comes to her singing it's she she has a lot of um flexibility a lot of flexibility yeah she i think she's a great singer i think she's a really great singer she emotes really well and I was really moved. And if you listen to the album and you listen to Price of Greed, again, I think that's one of my favorite tracks. Is it my favorite? It's one of them. But the very last note that she sings, like at the very end, oh, it's so good. It's just so good. So, um, yeah, I, I don't know. Yushi-san, will this be available on streaming? Like Amazon streaming, Spotify, Apple Music? Uh, cause if it is like, please at least once check it out. I feel like SJ would like this, but then SJ always surprises me or saddens me by, um, <laughs> by not liking stuff I think he'll like. Yes. Yeah, so you should, you just invited you guys to any Nekomeshi shows. Uh, they have one oh, for their album release on 420. So next month, next month on the 20th. Um, Yushi-san, I will try to go that side. Raizo-san, えっと、来月20日行きたい。はい、行きたいんですけど、うーん、ちょっと頑張ります。はい、後でちょっと確認して連絡します。Um, uh, but yeah, it's uh, I definitely want to check them out live now. I want to see live performance just because the album the studio recording i think is great um i really love really really love the way that it recorded the way that it was produced again nothing that was overproduced um just the essentials stripped down again it has that garage metal that thrash metal feel that 80s feel and uh like there's one song that was done sort of in honor of children of bodom uh so it's really cool too hi <laughs> ikitai this <laughs> so go check them out. Um, yeah, like I said, for me, like if there's a good riff, like previously I mentioned this band called Another Dimension and that guitarist has some amazing riffs as well. And the singer, he's more of just like, just yelling and screaming. There's like zero melody, but I, I Usually I love melodies, but I loved it because just because just the guitar was so, again, I think tasty is the only word that really fits. It. And I think Nekomeshi with, yeah, it was Zakuro-san's guitar. His riffs are like, man, tasty, like really, really delicious stuff. So try them out, see what you think. Let me know if you hate it. What can I say? I mean, that's. But for me, I again, I was generally surprised. Generally, was like shocked at how much I really, really love the album. So, um, yeah, you know, when you want to play it again, you know it's good, regardless of whether you can break it down and criti critically like analyze things. If you just want to hear something again and again, you know it's good. So, um, Whistling Arrow from Nekomeshi Two Two Two. Uh, you guys can follow them on their Twitter X and wherever else. But yeah, that that is uh, my album review. Um, again, it's it's great stuff. Uh, can get heavy. The melodies, I love that. I love it when there's like when it's heavy, and then there's melodies. Uh, neko mesh shit, not neko mesh. <laughs> it's not shit. <laughs> Meshi. Uh, yeah, I'll find out. Um, so, eto, Raizo san, itska isho ni, eto, interview shimashou. Neko meshi san to isho ni. Yoroshii desu ka? Um, so yeah, uh, Ryan Mir already put up a video, um, with him answering questions. And, um, I hope that at some point I can meet with him in person and do an interview with him as well. So, that is my recommendation. Really good stuff. Um, even though I am much more like mel melody and, and rock, this was just good. It just, yeah, sweet stuff. So yeah, um, that has been my week. Why not? 
よしよし後でちょっとお話ししましょう<笑> But yeah、um, That's my one week in Tokyo so far、uh, It's been raining a lot Which I hate I hate I hate I hate、um, I got a bike a couple days ago And I was like, yay, I got a bike. But it turns out that the third year,、uh, something's wrong, I think, with the spokes because it just doesn't quite latch on. It doesn't quite fit properly. So <sighs> that's frustrating. But it's crazy. I'm like a、uh, 15 minute walk away from Shimo Kitazawa. And, ah, Sara s a Hey, everyone, Sara's here. Say hi to Sara. Uh, Steven, say hi to Sara, your buddy. Oh, it's really cool. Arigato. Genki? Kyo, jotto, yasundeta? Oh, man. But I, have, I, need, I need to do stuff. I need to get out there and like, do stuff.、Um, so, Sara, jotto, hanashi ga jotto, oata kedo. Sara san no live ga steki. いましたあいつも本当にフランツ・ウォーメン、えっと、歌手から歌手の中で本当に素敵トップ5トップ5トップ5 always amazing always、um, あこの人<笑>サラさんこの人ジム・ジムモリソンあの人はすごい長いえっと、白毛、サラのライブで、あ、サラ、あ、サラのライブじゃなくて、ヘリーズのライブ、長い、うん、白毛。Um, yeah, thanks, thanks for joining. Um, gosh, oh, the one thing I want to say though, that just because you've seen Hades live, it doesn't mean that you shouldn't see, uh, Sara Lai, because it's, it's, it's the same person, but it's kind of like it's kind of like the difference of Heath Ledger doing Joker versus Heath Ledger doing、uh, what, what, is, what is that movie? Ten Things I Hate About You? You know? Or, you know, Killian, <laughs> Killian Murphy doing Oppenheimer, or, you know, Peaky Blinders. Like, it's just, it, they're very different creatures and such different colors.、Uh, and I would say, Sara Band, it, there's a brightness. There's this loose, wild, fun. It's much more representative of Sara's personality.、Um, yeah. Sara, Sara, a e e h o n d o n いい性格ありますね<笑> Hey, Steen. Ah, Sara's here in the chat. You can say hi to her. Steen も、えっと、ヘイリーのライブ去年行きましたけど。So, yeah, people, I don't know. Anybody who's met Sara in person, they realize just like how amazing she is as a person.、Um, Just very generous, very, very sweet, very fun.、Um, if you've ever seen my interview with her, like the energy just like nonstop, that's exactly how she is. And it's perfect for a live setting, it's perfect、uh, for just being on stage and getting everybody, everybody pumped up and into it. And like,、um, you know, last year when I interviewed Sara, this was back in June. This was for her album release.、Um, she had said that she enjoyed giving, like feeding people, that type of thing, right? And so I think there is that attitude of like when you're at her show, it's kind of, it's honestly, it's kind of the same way that Bandmade is. With Bandmade, it's like, oh, Kairi ne sai, you know, go shinjin sama o jo sama. And it's like you're, you've come home and they're here to serve you. Like an okuji is a serving, they're here to provide for you. 
And so they're like, we're going to give you the best buffet, the best meal you ever had. And I think Sara has the same attitude. It's like when you're at her show, she's like, you're here. I'm going to give you every single damn cell fiber, everything that I have, I'm going to give to you right now. And you're going to take it. And there's that type of attitude and that, that type of energy. So anyway, yeah, um, absolutely, absolutely uh, recommend you go not only to a Haiti show, but a Sada show because the song is completely different too. So yes, she is the vocalist of Hades. <laughs> so if you guys have any questions for Raizo-san or for Yushi-san or for Sara, Sara-san, um, please feel free to ask a question. Maybe they can answer. Uh, I'll see if possible if, if I can uh, translate if, if necessary and if they don't need it then. Uh, I think I need a haircut. But yeah, as I was saying, it's been very rainy and I hate it. And I still have all these boxes that need to get thrown out. And then, oh, I mentioned this on my Facebook, but it's gross. I think the past, I think in like three days, I saw like three separate, like, people, not, I didn't see them throw up, but I saw like the aftermath of people, and I'm assuming it's because they were drunk, but ugh, it's gross. I am not a fan of that. <laughs> Thank you, Sara-san, for your continued support. Um, yeah, it's really cool. I, I think... Sara, what are a few of your favorite Western rock bands? And more new music from Hades? Kotoshi? 新しい音楽 出しますか?ヘディズから。そしてサラさんの好きなウェスタンアメリカとかヨーロッパのバンド、好きなバンド。I can answer that cuz I've translated for them. Uh, she likes you too, Linkin Park, Coldplay. Um, she was influenced a lot by Japanese singer Namie Amuro. Mm. Yeah. I think those are the big ones. Eh, hoka no bando, skina bando arimasu ka? Anyone else? Any questions for Yushi san being head of, head of the record label or for Roraizo san doing Neko Messi? Hmm. Eh, Raizo san wa. Oh! <laughs> Sara's at work. She's at work watching YouTube. Is she got okay though? Ima YouTube meter? Nani sore? Hi. Arigato. Mata itska. Yeah, I think Namiya Amuro has influenced a lot of people. And it's interesting because a lot of people really have been influenced by, I don't think they've been influenced, but they really like, bye. They really like uh, Linkin Park. And the craziest thing is that my cousin who was um, in the music industry for a while, he knew the guys from Linkin Park before they were Linkin Park, when they were known as Hybrid, Hybrid Theory, um, which is the name of, their first album, they switched it. So I forget if, if they, their name was Hybrid or Hybrid Theory. I think their name was Hybrid Theory at first, but they changed it to Linkin Park because there was another band called Hybrid. Um, but yeah, it's a, uh, my cousin was one of the people that told, told them not to sign with a smaller label and just to wait, because they would get a big break. And then later on, Warner Brothers did. But that was after they got Chester Bennington. Um, rest in peace. But 
yeah, it's crazy the kind of influence that, that they've had on, I think, a lot of people in a lot of different countries, you know, and a lot of people in Japan have been affected um, by them, so it's kind of cool, kind of weird. Um, yeah. Oh, Mayo mo, eh, Mayo mo, mitte masu ka? Kitte masu ka? I've never heard of gentle flower. Yushi-san, wakarimasu ka? Gentle flower? That sounds like a euphemism. <laughs> I don't know for what exactly, but it sounds like a euphemism. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Um, yeah, last week there were a lot of bands playing, and I think just this past weekend, Sai Sega played, Tora no Korami played. Um, okay. Yushisan says he has no idea. Yeah. Um, bunch of bands. Um, and as far as for me, like the thing with, uh, the thing with Bandmate this year, because their shows are, they have a lot less shows announced. Um, so there's not really like that much to talk about. Oh, on Wednesday though, on Wednesday, there is going to be the Yokohama Arena Blu-ray DVD drop. So for those of you that ordered, please be ready for that. Oh, Atashi Yamamoto, he, ah. <laughs> okay. Um, sorry, I was looking at something else. Um, so yeah, Yokohama Arena, it will be dropping soon. And did, did you guys, did you guys watch um, the Endless Story uh, video that they dropped? like the same night as the acoustic. To be honest, to be perfectly honest, I was like, Endless Story, I mean, I probably heard it at least, I don't know, it felt like 15 times. It was like like 10 times. Cause I went to, I think at least 10 different shows last year for Bandmate or more. I can't remember exactly right now. But I was like, oh, Endless Story. Uh, so I, I actually didn't, uh, watched the video for a couple of days. I was like, I'll check it out. Because people were talking about how like weepy they got and like, oh, if you don't cry, then you don't have a heart. I was like, come on. <laughs> and then I ended up, I ended up watching, I ended up watching the Endless Story video. And then when Saki gets all emotional and you start finding, like you start remembering like, yeah, these 10 years, you know, how far they've come and I just started, I was like, no, not again. <laughs> so yeah, it's really crazy. It's really amazing when a band, I think whether it's through their music or through your relationship with them as a fan, but when they can motivate you and move you emotionally and really stir you, I, I think that's really powerful. It's really amazing. And I especially in this day and age where people can connect a lot more through social media, I think Man, social media is such a double-edged sword. In some ways, social media is like probably one of the biggest and greatest evils, like used uh, as an like as an instrument. It's used to do so much damage and to rouse up so much violence and, and anger and hate. But on the other, if it, if it's used like with kindness and with love with positivity like it reaches so many people and it does so much good stuff and i think one of the coolest things is that the fans can connect with you know these their favorite bands in ways that they couldn't um which again has its pros and cons but i'm really really grateful for everything that we've been allowed to experience um over you know the past several years because of social media and especially because especially because Miku was so good about it and making use of it and making sure. I think Miku was the one who made sure that all the other members made sure to comment, to be active. You know, don't forget, don't forget. Um, yeah, and so it's nice, right? Like, I, I don't know how many of you have experienced it personally, but when you have a member of a band say hi to you, just like your tweet, um, repost something, comment, 
I mean, that's really an amazing opportunity and experience. You're like, wow, that's so cool. And so that's always my encouragement for people who love a band, like wear that love, like, like a heart on your sleeve, because you never know um, if and when that band will react and respond in kind and really reach out to you. Um, I was fortunate because since I live here, I was able to go to these bands directly at their shows and talk to them and interact with them. But, you know, it just, it just, it never hurts to try. So anyhow, um, yeah, yeah. It's like, um, it's like the X-Men. I forgot. I don't remember if this was an actual quote but i remember it's like if you've ever watched the x-men movies or read the comics the brotherhood of evil right you have the the bad mutants and you have the good mutants and what differentiates them they all have powers but it's what they use it for right so i think we we all have this power of communication of social access and what do we use it for is it for good or is it for evil and that's really up to us um yeah just but you know i if you guys know me by now i i really prefer spreading positivity hopefulness and uh, a lot more love because hate is just uh it's it's gross <laughs> even though I hate a lot of stuff, like vomit on the floor uh, or rain. But uh, yeah, it's good to love people. I think that's a really good thing to do. All right, guys, it is 11 p.m. here. Um, I don't have to sleep. I still have one more week, but I need to take care of my, my bike problem. I need to register stuff uh, since I am now a resident of Tokyo get some legit internet, and then kind of plan out the rest of my life. So that should keep me pretty busy. But I hope you guys are well. And I know it's a Monday morning, so I don't know how how, how long you guys stuck with me through this. But uh, yeah, stay in touch. Thank you guys for always watching and supporting. And not just MNN, but friends of MNN and the bands here in Japan. Um, Yeah. Um, agreed. Yeah. Um, and really just as, as far as what, what the future holds for me, I just want to be careful. So I want to be careful and I want to appreciate what I have and, um, not, not get too comfortable if that makes sense. You know, sometimes being too comfortable and just being yourself or saying whatever you want doesn't always turn out the best, you know, for the best. So I'm just hoping I'll be cautious and really befriend, you know, people, befriend bands, but not make assumptions, if that makes sense. All right, guys. Um, other than that, Neko Meshi 222, Whistling Arrow. Fantastic album. Raizo san, arigato gozaimasu. Sticky na. Not shoujin. Uh, sakuhin desu. Yeah, sticky na sakuhin desu. Honto ni. Nakuru san, arigato gozaimasu. Raya san, Jun san, arigato gozaimasu. Um, ohen shite masu. Yutsuka, aimashou. Uh, all right. Thank you guys so much. Yushi san, personally, I want to thank you for <laughs> helping me out in so many ways. And um, yeah, just being there for me as a sort of, uh, sort of as a, as a ni Nissan. Yeah, as an older brother. Thanks, thanks KH. I'll, I'll do what I can, I'll do my best. Uh, thanks for your support guys. Um, I hope you guys enjoy the week. And um, as always, ah, zenzen. Hi, it's demo, daijoubu desu. Thank you, thank you. Uh, but if you guys do have questions, you can always comment and leave a question for me if you need help with something. 
I'm also very active on Twitter X, uh, PS1Lim. And um, that's kind of where I post a lot of different bands, the shows, what's happening, and just cool stuff that they drop or whatever live streams they have. So yeah, other than that, continue to spread the word. I will see you guys again. Uh, possibly the next live stream will be next week if I do go to uh, the Shin Yokohama show. And then um, I will start my, yeah, I will start working on the edits for the interviews so that you guys can see that because there are quite a few backed up and you should enjoy that as well. All right, thank you guys so much. This has been Peter coming to you from Tokyo and this is my dog sleeping. So cute. <laughs>